Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet the granny square I call willow, a beautiful simple motif that starts as a circle and ends up as a square. You can find the written instructions, the symbol chart, and all the details in the blog post over on my website. I'll drop the link in the description below. So let's get started with our foundation. I'm going to be using color A, which is pink for me, and we're going to create a slip knot. So a basic slip knot, I just lie the yarn over my palm, wrap it around the back and bring it up around two fingers, crossing it over. And then I use my thumb to hold that in place while I flip my hand over. And then I just go under the first strand and over the second strand and pull it through. And then you make sure that loop stays on your hook, pull your fingers out, and then just pull these two strands tight and then pull them away from each other to move it up to the hook. And there it is, your slip knot on your hook. So now let's get going on our foundation. We need to chain four. So one, two, three, four, and now we want to join this into a ring. So we're going to go back into our first chain, put our yarn over and pull a loop through both the first chain and the loop on the hook. And that completes our ring and completes our foundation. So now we're going to go ahead into round one, continuing with color A, and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And this uh, represents a double crochet and a chain one. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work all of our stitches into this ring. So you want to go right into the center right here. First thing we're going to do is a double crochet. So wrap your yarn over, insert your hook into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and that's your double crochet and chain one. So double crochet, chain one. You're going to repeat that 10 more times into the same center ring. And then I'll meet you back here at the end of the repeat. Okay, so here we are at the end of the repeat. We did the double crochet, chain one, repeated it 10 more times. This gives us a total of 12 double crochets. Let's count them, including that first chain three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we also have twelve chain one spaces to match, ending with this chain one here. And to end the round, we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of our starting three chain or four chain, but we're going to go into the third chain. So one, two, three. So we insert our hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull it through that chain and the loop on our hook. And we've completed round one. And I go ahead and I cut my yarn. So leave a nice little tail there that you can darn in later. And that is the end of round one. All right, we're ready for round two. And I'm going to use color B, which for me is white. And I'm going to slip stitch in any one of these chain one spaces. Now again, on all my charts, all the joins for the next rounds are all in one line so that you can find them easily on the chart. But I always recommend when you're joining new colors to pick a different spot on your motif so that all of your ends aren't hanging in the same one line when you go to darn them in and they create this bulk on the back of your motif. So I'm going to go a little further along here and pick a spot that's different from where I ended. So any one of these chain one spaces, we go in and we pull up a loop of our color B and leave enough of an end again to darn in later. And then we're going to go ahead and chain three. So one, two, three, that counts as our first double crochet. And then we're going to do another double crochet in that same chain one space. So we go in and I always have that end hanging over top of my hook so that I can lock it into place. So yarn over, pull it through the loop, and then we're going to complete our double crochet, and then we're going to chain one. Okay, so now we're going to skip 
the next double crochet and we're going to double crochet into the next chain one space. So insert your hook after you wrap the yarn over. So we have the yarn over, insert into that next chain one space, pull up a loop and finish your double crochet, yarn over, pull through two loops, work another double crochet into that same chain one space. So now we have two double crochets in that chain one space and then we're going to chain one. So this represents the repeat and we're going to do this 10 more times. So I'll meet you back here at the end of the repeat. Okay, here we are at the end of the repeat. We've done our repeat 10 more times. So we should actually have 12 of these two double crochet clusters. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 and our chain one ending with a chain one as well. So we're gonna end this round by slip stitching in the third chain of that first starting chain. So one, two, three, insert your hook in, wrap the yarn over, pull it through and pull it through the loop on the hook. And that finishes off round number two. So again, we can cut our yarn. So leave a nice end that you can darn in later and pull it all the way through. So that's how I fasten off. So in my instructions, I say fasten off and that's how I do it. Um, I cut my yarn usually every round and then I just darn them in later. I use it as a relaxing thing that I do while I'm watching TV or something like that. So this finishes off round number two. Make sure to always count your stitches at the end to make sure that you have what you're supposed to because if you go further along and you haven't counted and then you realize about three rounds back you made a mistake, it's really hard to rip all that out. So make sure you count at the end of every round. We're ready for round number three and color C, which for me color C is going to be green. And again, join in any one of these chain one spaces. So again, I'm gonna move a little bit further along. See how I have my ends in two different places here? I'll move a little further along, not too far along, and I'll pick this spot right here. So we're going to pull up a loop. I have a black kitten, and my black kitten likes to leave his hairs on all my yarn. So, which is really something when you're working with white yarn on a white desk. Okay, so here we go. We are pulling our yarn through a chain one space, and we're gonna go ahead and chain three. Two and three, and that counts as our first double crochet. Now we're gonna work two more double crochet into this same joining chain one space. So go ahead and work two double crochet into this first space. And see, if I don't work over that end, it tends to hang out like that. And sometimes that can just be annoying. So try to secure it in when you do your first double crochet. And then we're going to chain one. And then we move ahead and we skip over these two double crochet and we work into this chain one space. So we're going to work three double crochet into this chain one space. So go ahead and work three double crochet. And this is my third one. And then we're going to chain one. So that's our repeat right there. Three double crochet, chain one. We skipped over two double crochet and work into the next chain one space. We're gonna repeat that 10 more times. And then I will meet you back here at the end of the repeat. So here we are after the 10 more repeats. So we should have 12 of these three double crochet clusters. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 of these three double crochet clusters and 12 of these chain one spaces to go with them. And we're going to end our round by slip stitching into the third chain of our starting chain. So one, two, three. There's the third chain. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. 
And that finishes off round number three. So you can cut your yarn again, leave a nice little end there that you can darn in later. I pull my yarn straight through and that's the end of round three. So round four, we're back to color A, which again is my pink. And we're going to join it with a slip stitch in any one of the chain one spaces. So moving a little further along, I'll just pick one over here and we're going to pull up a loop of our pink, leaving an end hanging at the back. And we're going to go ahead and chain one and then we're going to single crochet in that same space. So go back into that same chain one space, pull up a loop and create a single crochet. So there you are. Now you're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. That's one, two, and three. Now you're going to single crochet into the next chain one space. There we go. So now we're going to repeat that. 10 more times. So we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches and single crochet in the next chain one space. That's what we just did. We're going to repeat it 10 more times and I'll meet you back here at the end of the repeat. And now we've done our 10 more time repeat and we're going to finish off this round by single crocheting in each of the next three stitches. One, Oops, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet of the round. So inserting our hook in, pull up a loop, pull through the loop on the hook, and we have finished off round four. One, two, three, and four. So if you count your single crochets, you should have 48 of them. I'm going to cut my yarn. Pull it through and you've completed round four. So make sure you count your stitches. Make sure there's 48 single crochets and I'll meet you at round five. So round five, we're back to color B, which for me is white. And in this one, we're not joining just anywhere. In this one, we want to join in the third stitch of the previous round. So go back to where you finished off and you'll see that's where you joined was your first stitch. So we count one, two, and three to the third stitch of that round. And then we're going to insert our hook into that third stitch and we're going to draw up a loop of our color B and we're going to chain one and single crochet in that same stitch that we just joined in. So insert the hook again, pull up another loop and create your single crochet. So you now have single crocheted into the third stitch of the previous round. So now we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and do that. You'll have two single crochets. Now you're going to chain two and you're going to skip over the next single crochet and you're going to work into the next three single crochet. So you're going to do a single crochet in each of the next three after you've skipped over one. So that's one, two, and three. So we're going to continue to do chain two, three single crochet. So chain two, you're going to skip the next single crochet. Then you're going to work one single crochet into the next three. This is what we've done right here. And you're going to repeat that 10 more times. So I'll meet you back here at the end of the repeat. Okay, we've reached the end of our repeat and we've done it 10 more times. So now we're going to end by chain two. Then we're going to skip our next single crochet and then we're going to single crochet into our next stitch, which is really that stitch right there. And then we're going to end the round by slip stitch in our first stitch. So go ahead and pull the yarn through and pull it all the way through. And then we're going to fasten off. So clip our yarn and we have finished round five. 
So count your stitches again. You should have 36 single crochets and 12 of these chain two spaces. So round number six, I'm going to come back to color C, which is my green, and I'm going to join the yarn in any one of these chain two spaces. So I can go back to joining wherever I want, as long as it's in a chain two space. So I'm going to pull up my yarn, leaving an end on the back that I can darn in later. And I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And this counts as my first treble of this round. And then I'm going to work two more treble into this chain two space. So a treble requires me to wrap the yarn twice around my hook. Then I'm going to insert into that same space, pull up a loop. Now I have four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over, pull through the last two. That's my treble. And I'm going to work one more of those, wrap in the yarn twice, and into the same stitch we complete our treble. Now we're going to chain two and we are going to skip over these three next stitches. These three, they are single crochet stitches we worked on and we're going to work into this next chain two space and we're going to work three half double crochets into that chain two space. So yarn over, insert your hook into that space, pull up a loop, you have three on the hook. Now hold on tight here because you're going to go through all three of those at the same time. Yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That's a half double crochet. And we're going to do two more of those into that same space. Now we're going to chain two. And again, we're going to do the same thing. Three half double crochets into this next chain two space. So we're skipping over these three single crochets from the previous round, working into this next chain two space, yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, and again, hang on, we're going through all three of the loops that are on the hook. And we're going to do two more half double crochets into that same chain space. Now we're going to chain two, and now we've reached the next corner we're going to make. So we're going to work into this next chain two space. We're going to work three treble, chain three, and three more treble all into this chain two space. And that's going to create our next corner. So wrap the yarn around twice and go ahead and make three treble stitches into this chain two space. Oops, make sure. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to work three more trebles. One, two, and three. And there we've made our corner. So we've gone from this circle that we've been working on and now we're going to square it up. So this section we did right here, we're going to repeat that two more times and then I'll meet you back at the end of the repeat. So now we've hit the end of our repeat. So we did our first section, then we repeated it two more times, took us to here. Then we went back to the first star and repeated only to the second star or the double star this time, which took us to here. So we did chain two, three half double crochets, chain two, three half double crochets, chain two. And now we are at the end of the repeating part. We're going to finish off our last corner. So we're going to do that by working into the chain two space that we joined in. We're going to work three treble. So that's one. two, and one more treble into there. So you're putting a lot into that first chain two space. You're going to chain three, there's three, and then you're going to join in the fourth chain of your starting chain. 
So one, two, three, and four. Insert your hook and you're going to pull a loop through that chain and the loop on the hook. And that finishes your fourth, or sorry, finishes your sixth round. We're going to cut the yarn, leaving a nice end that we can darn in later. Pull it through. And that's the end of round six. So there you can see we squared off our circle. So we were working in a circular direction here, a circular pattern. And here we've turned it into a square. So we're going to move on to our next round, round seven, and we're going to be back to color A. So with color A, we're going to join in any one of our corners. So I'll just pick one here into the chain three space of the corner. You're going to pull up a loop of color A. And then you're going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, and three. And then we're going to work two more double crochet into that same joining space. So yarn over, go in, and again, I try to go under that strand so that I lock it in place. Create my first double crochet and my next double crochet. So there we go. We have a chain three and two double crochets. Chain three, of course, acting as our first double crochet in this case. And we're going to go ahead and chain one. And then we're going to skip over these three trebles. And we're going to work three double crochet into our next space here. This chain two space. We're going to work three double crochet. So there's one, two, and three. And we're going to repeat that chain one, three double crochet three times. So chain one, moving into the next chain two space, three double crochet. So this is our second time. Then we're going to chain one and work into the next chain two space, three double crochet. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to work into this next corner and into this corner, we're going to work three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. So that's all in square brackets because that's all going into this chain three space to create the next corner in this round. So there's our three double crochet, chain three and three double crochet. And one more creates our corner. Let's see if we can see it here. We're going to continue around and that created our corner. So we're going to go ahead and repeat what we just did two more times. And I'll meet you back at the end of the repeat. So there we are, we've repeated it one, two more times, and then we repeat it again to the double star and we finished here, ready to finish our last corner. So we're going to finish off our last corner by working three double crochet into the same chain three space that we joined in. So there's three double crochet, chain three, and then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain of the starting chain. So insert your hook into there, pull the yarn through and through the loop on the hook. And you can cut your yarn so that you can darn it in later. Pull it through and you have finished up round seven. So at this stage, this is your basic granny square. And then again, I do single crochet borders. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I do the single crochet borders. But you could just use this as a simple granny square as well. So starting into round eight, we're going to go back to color B, which for me is white. 
and we're going to join in any of the corners. So I'm going to move to a different corner here and I'm going to join my color B by pulling up a loop. And then I'm going to go ahead and chain one. So I'm not going to single crochet in that chain space right now. I'm going to go ahead and work a single crochet into the next stitch. And again, into the next one and into the next one. So single crocheting in the first three stitches, each of them. Then we're going to single crochet into the chain one space. And we're going to do this four times total. So we've done it one time. And we're going to go ahead and single crochet in the next three. And then in the next chain one space, that's two repeats of that one. Then we do three and into the chain space. That's the third time. And we're going to do it one more time. So we've done it four times, what was in the brackets. And now we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And we've made it to our other corner. And we are going to, in the square brackets, we're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet into this chain three space. So single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all into that chain three space which makes our corner. So now we're going to repeat from the star what we just did from here. We're going to repeat that three more times and I will meet you at the end of the repeat. So here we are at the end of round eight. We repeated three more times all the way around and it takes us right back to our last corner. So the end of the repeat was actually working into that corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So once we did that, all we have left to do is join our round in the first single crochet of the round. So just pull the yarn through. I'm going to clip my yarn so I can darn it in later. Pull it all the way through and there's the end of round eight. And that's the first single crochet border around. So I'm going to work round nine and round 10 that I have in the patterns, but you could end here with just one row of single crochet, or you could do as many of them as you want in, an, in any of the colors that you want. But we're gonna go ahead the way I have the pattern written and in the chart as well. We'll get going on round number nine and I bring back in color C, which is for me, green. So here we have color C. We are going to join it in any one of the chain two space corners. So I'm gonna, Again, I keep rotating to a new one. And I'm going to pull up my yarn, color C, in my corner, chain one. And again, we're gonna not work in that corner at this point. We're gonna go ahead and start single crocheting across. So you're gonna single crochet in each of the next 21 stitches, because we have all single crochets now. So single crochet in each of the next 21 stitches which will take you to your next corner and I'll meet you at that next corner. So we've reached 21 single crochet across our side and we're at our next corner and into this corner, into this chain two space, I'm gonna work a single crochet, chain two and another single crochet. And now we're on to our next side. So we're gonna repeat what we just did, 21 single crochet and then working into our corner. We're gonna repeat that three more times. So across here, down this side and across the bottom. And I'll meet you back at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of our repeat. We did our first repeat or we did our first section and then we repeated it three more times around our square, ending in our last corner with our single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And we're gonna end the round by slip stitching into our first single crochet stitch. So this is basically all you do for each of these single crochet rounds. So on the pattern, I have one more, which I will stay true to that and do that one. But at any point in time, you could mix up the colors you do. I could, uh, I could do them 
white, green, white, or I could do all one color. So you can get quite creative that way. You can do a whole bunch of rounds. Um, a lot of these squares, I do like to try a different color every round. So then I would do a different color every round in the border as well to make it fun. But we're gonna stay true to our pattern and do round 10 to finish this one off. So round 10, we're going back to color A, which is the first color we used in the center, which is pink. And we're going to join it in one of the chain two corners. So again, I rotate to the next one. And you can see if I flip it over, a little bit of a stringy mess at first, but see how each of them are in different sections. So we've got some here, some over here, so that when I go to darn all of these in, they're all gonna be in different sections of the motif. So I'm not bulking up one particular line. So again, on my charts, I show you to join in the same place, but that's just so you can see, um, it's, it's easier to follow the chart if it's all in the same place. But I suggest that you start each round in a different location on your motif. So we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna pull up our color A in our corner and we're going to chain one and we're on round 10 and we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and all the way across and we this is gonna be 23 stitches that we're working and I'll meet you at the next corner. Okay, so we're working stitch number 23 and then we're at our next corner, our next chain two space. We're going to single crochet into that chain two space. We're going to chain two and work another single crochet into that chain two space to create our corner. So now we've worked 23 single crochet across and we worked our corner single crochet, chain two, single crochet. We're going to repeat that three more times all the way around our square and I'll meet you back here at the end of the repeat. And here we are at the end of round 10. We did our first section here, then we repeated it three more times and ended up in our final corner. And all we have left to do now is to slip stitch in our first single crochet. So we insert our hook, pull through our yarn, pull through the loop on the hook, and then we can cut our yarn, pull it all the way through and finish off our round 10, which finishes off our entire square. Thanks for joining me in this tutorial. And remember you can find the written pattern and the full chart with the symbols over on my website. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my tutorials. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.